Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? Coming back with another video. All right, in this video here, listen, I'm going to talk to my young guys, man, my young amateur fighters, and, you know, all my kids that come to the gym, you know, even the young adults that come to the gym, even y'all old heads too, man. Check this out, man. When y'all come to the gym, man, make sure y'all bring y'all own equipment, man. Bring everything. Even on days you're not sparring, bring everything to the gym, all right? You should never come to the gym asking somebody else, can you, can you borrow their gloves? Or if you're training somebody, ask another, another trainer or somebody else, can you, can you hold their pads to do pad work? Ask somebody if you want to spar, you, can you use their head gear? Man, look, hey, man, which one use my mouthpiece next? Hey, which one my drawers? You know what I mean? Listen, when you come to the gym, man, be accountable, man. Be responsible for yourself because that's one thing boxing teach. It teaches you discipline. It teaches you how to be self-sufficient. Because remember, when you in that ring fighting, it's you by yourself. When you're up in the morning or at night doing your road work, it's you by yourself. All right? Be accountable for yourself, man. When you, when you come in that gym, have all your stuff. All your stuff. Your gloves. Have your own rope. Don't ask nobody else, can you borrow a jump rope or nothing. Always come prepared. Always come prepared. Like, how that sound if you go to the doctor's office and you hear another doctor, hey, you know, you got your doctor asking another doctor, hey, can I hold this? Can I hold that? I, said, I, got, this, I got this patient walked in. Can I borrow this? Nah, man. You want the doctor to be prepared. Well, just like you in a fight game, my man, you want to be prepared. You know, I just left the gym, man. Had a little young and I'm over here, you know, hitting the bag, doing my thing. I had, you know, had a little young and he, you know, he had his first amateur fight. And he over there helping out, you know, a, a little kid. And he asked me, can, you know, he hold my pads? So I told him, nah. He, he looked at me kind of funny. So I had to explain to him. I said, dang, my man, what you, what you want? You, you want my mouthpiece next? You know, I just told him, listen, especially, like, you know, you know the, the days we live in now, all these viruses and stuff going around. Like, you don't want other people's sweat to be all up in your stuff. You know? Like, if, you, if you're doing pad work, man, if, if you're holding pads, bring your own pads. If you, if you, if you don't have your own pads, man, you better use, use your hands or use something. You know what I mean? Like, like, just be self-sufficient, man. Don't come to the gym, ask another fighter, can, can you can you borrow his stuff? You know? If you don't got it, then that, you, you're not meant to be there that day. You will do something else, man. Go, go do some jumping jack, shadow box. Do something else. You know? Don't ever come to the gym unprepared. Especially, man, it, it tripped me up, man, on days when, when it's time to spar, man. You got fighters say, oh, man, I forgot my mouthpiece. Oh, uh, yeah, I understand, you know, sometimes you might forget stuff, man. But be self-sufficient, man. Be self-sufficient. Always have all your stuff. Be accountable for yourself. I told you, boxing teaches you responsibility. It teaches you how to be accountable for yourself. And if you're a young guy, boxing teaches you discipline. Even us old guys, boxing teaches you discipline. It teaches you to get ready for the next part of your life. Like, you shouldn't have to have anybody, you know, wake you up to go do your role work. Or tell you it's time to go to the gym. Or tell you, hey, you got to eat this, you got to eat that. Yes, it's good for motivation. It's, it, that's cool. But you want to be self-sufficient on everything you do in this boxing game. You never want to be somebody looking for a handout. Always looking for somebody else to do this and do that for you. No, be self-sufficient. Be your own boss in this boxing game. I told you, it's a lonely, lonely, lonely place in that ring. Especially, man, when you've been there fighting all them rounds and you still got a few more rounds to go, you dead tired, you can't look for nobody, ask somebody else, hey, can I borrow some win? Yeah, can, I, can I borrow your legs just to get through the next few rounds? Nah, nah. Be self-sufficient, man. Be responsible for yourself, you know? Don't ever go to the gym unprepared. Don't ever go to a gym unprepared. Just like when you go fight. Don't go into a fight and forget your nuts. Don't go into a fight and forget your heart. You understand? Know why you in this game. Be responsible. Be disciplined. Be responsible. You know what I'm saying? And if you listen to this video, man, listen, you and you giving out all your stuff to other people, stop. Stop today. Now, I understand some days you might forget this, you might forget that. But on, on those days, work on something else. Don't be in there asking everybody else, can you, can you borrow their stuff, man? You know, like, you don't know, like I say, man, today we battling all kinds of different viruses and this and that, this and that. You don't know who got what and, and, and what sweat, you know, what, what they've been doing and, 
you know, they're putting their hand inside your stuff. And, you know, or matter of fact, it's funny. I had another guy come in the gym, right? He didn't have no headgear, but he was near boxing anyway. And I had to pull him to the side and say, man, look here, my man. This is the boxing game, dude. Like, yo, you can get hurt even with headgear on. But, yo, you, yo listen, you, you, you in there sparring with no headgear? Listen, it ain't about that. That ain't about proving your heart that, that you can box without no headgear. Always wear your stuff. They make mouthpieces for a reason. They make headgear for a reason. They make cups for a reason. They make hand wraps and tape for a reason. Wear that stuff. Stop being irresponsible. You understand? You know, respect yourself. Respect your craft. You know, the the, the lifespan of boxing is not that long as it is. So don't don't beat yourself up. You know what I'm saying? Before you get in a fight. You know? That's the old saying, man. You're going to fight how you train. Be responsible. Train responsible. You know? So be responsible for yourselves, man. Bring your own gear to the gym. Stop asking other people, can you borrow this? Can you hold that? Can you stop that? Be responsible for yourself, man. You understand? But I'm going to give it y'all, man, next video, man. I just got back from the gym myself, man. I'm about to go in there and shower up and get myself together. You did, But, man, yo, thank y'all for subscribing to the channel. Thank y'all for coming to visit y'all, boy. I got other things coming up, man. I'm coming up real soon with um, other videos on how to. I'm going to show you how, you know, work jabs, throw hooks, different combinations. You know what I mean? Your feet work. You know, then after that, hopefully I'm going to leave, the, you know, doing, doing podcasts. So, you know what I mean? Like, I, I got a lot of plans for this channel, man. But until then, y'all be good. Y'all govern yourself accordingly. Remember, be responsible for yourself, all right? So, next video, I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.